Hey guys, Chris here, and in today's video I just wanted to talk a little bit about the M249 and specifically reasons why it may actually be a bad meta. I spent a lot of time in the last couple of videos talking about why I personally don't believe it is the worst meta we've ever seen. However, there are some arguments to be made about why the M249 is really a menace and really a problem, so I figured I may as well make a video addressing those reasons and the counter arguments to my opinion, so that way you guys can be well informed about both sides of the argument, because that's really the goal here. I hope you guys enjoy this video, and let's just get right into it. So the first and the largest argument to be made about why the M249 really is a meta that is just the worst compared to anything, is it is the only meta that has such a high rate of uh, margin of failure. So if you don't know what margin of failure is, it's really the idea that if you miss X amount of shots, you still have this many shots to kill. It's basically how many times can you get a kill in a mag. Um, this was the great counter argument used against the SVU. Really, the SVU only had five kills per mag, which brought it right around where every other gun was, making it seem reasonable on statistical paper. However, for the M249, the number of uh, kills per mag is a very large number. It's in the 60s. This is absurdly high compared to most other guns, um, bar the MGs as a category. So a lot of people who are enemies of the MG overhaul really bring up the fact that the MGs are still killing very quickly. They're just more accurate now, meaning that their potential to live up to that magazine is getting closer and closer to being reached, which makes it as a meta much more annoying and much more uh, less fun to deal with as compared to similar metas which may have had similar stats or similar distribution. Now I'd say that is a very strong argument. Being able to have higher margins of error means you don't need to be as good of a player to really use this gun as compared to previous metas. Um, on top of that, the M249 really relies on suppression. Suppression is something that the Vigor community has shown a large disdain towards using, and even more disdain towards learning how to counter, which means that this meta is going to be on average a much more unique playstyle, and also a much more just spray uh, uh, meta, which does argue, can be argued, is much more annoying, simply because it requires a much more nuanced counter, rather than just, you know, when someone's spraying at you with an AR, it's just spray, just spray back, or just regular suppression back. Um, an M249 main will have the ability to outsuppress most guns in the game. Um, and that is really going to be a strong argument for people who think the M249 is the worst gun in the game um, at this point in time. All of those can be combined with um, really another argument is that Rarity is really dead at this point in time. Rarity was dead for all previous metas. Um, to differing degrees, but there is no shadow of a doubt right now that Rarity really is just definitely six feet under, um, and that can be added on top of this as more players are going to be able to turn over into the 2.9 earlier, rather than with other metas where it may have taken more time to get to. Key example really going to be the H bar in this case, which was really just more of an elite gun that people who only had large amounts of encounters were able to play, and created a gap. So you could argue that the M249 um, meta is universal and it is not separating any one group of player from making them better than the other and as of such it is more annoying to deal with as you're dealing with players across the entire skill level and not necessarily just high tier players i personally don't think these three arguments really matter um in comparison when we and my arguments on why i don't think they matter do boil down to things like frequency and they do boil down to usage and they boil down to damage and you know tdk those are things that the m249 simply doesn't have high numbers on um its accuracy compared to previous metas is not very high either um but i understand everyone in the comment section who is saying this meta is annoying just for me personally i don't think things like you know it requires a more nuanced counter or it has higher suppression ability really can make a meta objectively worse than another one i think subjectively you can feel that way um but for me personally i don't feel the objective nature of it but that's not the point of this video the point's not for me to sit here and say you're wrong if you think it's not the meta or if you think it's a, a bad meta my point is just to let you know some reasons why um you should feel that way and the fact that i recognize these counter arguments hope you guys enjoyed this little random video 
and I hope to see you guys for my next one. Till then, this has been Chris Priest.